My name is Francine Lobus Wheeler. Last summer, I testified before the House Judiciary Committee on expanding background checks to all firearm purchases in Pennsylvania. I received a generous welcome and was grateful for the thoughtful consideration of my testimony. But since then, the legislature has taken no action to stop criminals and the severely mentally ill from purchasing a long gun in a private sale. This matters to me for many reasons, but two stand out. I have deep roots in Pennsylvania. I was born in Darby, and I attended elementary, intermediate, and high school in Bucks County. I graduated from DeSales University in Center Valley. My parents live in Westchester. My three brothers and their families live in Delaware and Bucks County. And I have had the terrible misfortune of losing a child to gun violence. On December 14th, 2012, my son Ben was killed along with 19 other first graders and six educators at Sandy Hook Elementary School in Newtown, Connecticut. My son Nate's fourth grade class was in the school gym during the shooting. He survived. This coming week, the Pennsylvania House of Representatives has the opportunity to take an important step forward toward keeping our communities safe from gun violence. Representative Steve Santisario's amendment to House Bill 1243 would close the existing loophole in state law that currently allows criminals and the severely mentally ill to purchase long guns in private sales. This amendment is identical to the language in Representative Santisario's Bill 1010 which already has strong bipartisan support through 64 co-sponsors. The underlying bill, House Bill 1243, will go a long way to making sure Pennsylvania's mental health records continue to be timely updated into the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, or NICS. An amendment like this one would not have saved my Ben but it will save many lives. It might have saved Berks County Deputy Sheriff Kyle Pagerly. Deputy Sheriff Pagerly was killed in June 2011 by a young man wielding an AK-47 that he bought in a private sale. The shooter had been convicted of a felony as a juvenile and would not have passed a background check. The overwhelming majority of gun owners are responsible people. This amendment does not interfere with their ability to buy and own guns. But today, a convicted felon who can't pass a background check, who can't go to a licensed firearm dealer and buy an assault weapon, like the one that killed my son, can buy a rifle from a private seller, or go online and with a few clicks do the same thing, no questions asked. It's time for a vote on expanding background checks to all gun purchases in Pennsylvania. An overwhelming majority of residents and gun owners agree it's the right thing to do. Please bring the Santisario's amendment to a vote and pass House Bill 1243 with the Santisario amendment. Thank you.